The way we produce hen's eggs is increasingly offending modern ethical standards. In fact, to such an extent that by 2012 in Europe, the currently commonly used battery cage will be banned. Politicians, consumers and poultry farmers would actually all like to see changes and create a socially acceptable way of producing eggs. But how can we keep the hen in such a way that the hen, the consumer and the poultry farmer are all reasonably content? A research team from Wageningen University and Research Center in the Netherlands made a concise analysis of the wishes and ideas of poultry farmers and consumers. And to find out what the hens wanted, it carefully studied their behavior. The results suggest that a new housing system for laying hens would contribute to a farming sector that society would be proud of, house contented animals, and offer the farmer an acceptable income and extra pride in his work. Laying hens must have the space to exercise their normal behavior. Both hens and housing system must be robust. Should hens have access to an outdoor yard? Many people like the idea, but when this happens, the hens run greater risks, for instance of disease. Some needs seem to contradict each other. Instead of contrasting these needs, we have, as far as possible, brought them into harmony by asking further and by involving farmers and consumers in the design process itself. The surprising results led to two designs, the roundel and the plantation. Not blueprints, but just two quite different ways to show that socially acceptable hen housing systems are practically feasible. Both designs offer the hen the space to behave naturally. Numerous studies have shown us quite precisely what hens like or dislike. If we meet these demands, they do not have to be beak trimmed, a practice that currently is widely applied to prevent pecking and cannibalism. Beak trimming will be forbidden in several countries in the EU in the coming time. The roundel provides vision and expresses solidity and safety. A central part skillfully provides access to all technology and lets the farmer clearly see everything. In a ring of segments around the center are the pens where layers eat, drink, lay and rest. These living units allow the hens to use all the facilities they need without getting in each other's way. The roundel is surrounded by a large covered free-range area that provides access to a second free-range area above the pens. While temperature is always 20 degrees, the free-range area provides a natural outdoor environment. So the bird can choose its own preferred location. Litter material such as wood shavings is supplied automatically and removed with the help of the hen's free-range behavior and with a little technical assistance. Technology offers the poultry farmer an extra hand. The roundel protects both chicken and farmer and appeals to consumers who are concerned about safety and animal care. The roundel's most important features include everything is under one roof, there are two climate zones, the hens are separated from wild birds. The free-range area provides sufficient parallels to natural life. The pens smartly combine space for resting, laying, eating and drinking. There is a central technology and viewing room. The second design is called the plantation. What is immediately striking is the courtyard, a long oval inner space. The rest units are to the left of the courtyard, to the right are the units for laying, eating and drinking. Each activity of the hen has its own place on the plantation. These places and their position fit the daily routine so hens can easily reach all areas. The design is also conveniently workable for the poultry farmer. Machines can drive on the courtyard and manure is removed automatically from the units. The courtyard is normally not covered but can be quickly closed if it rains or if there is threat of disease. Around the plantation are two large land sites, ideally a minimum of three hectare or seven acres each, which have a double function. 
They are large enough for profitable crop production, but also offer the hens the extra possibility to explore and forage. The plantation appeals to consumers who want the hen to have a dynamic life, originally combining nature and technology. The plantation in summary. The plantation has an open courtyard which can be covered if it rains. The units and courtyard provide all the natural requirements for the hens. Next to it are two external areas for hens and crop production. The design demands an active and resilient chicken, ready and able to find its own food. The design is in accordance with the hen's daily routine. The plantation and the roundel. Both designs show that a commercial production of eggs can go together with hen contentment, the health of man and animal, and an image which fits the ideals of consumer groups. The designs show the possibilities, but should not be taken as a prescription. There is plenty of room for a diversity of farming systems, for different types of hen, different poultry farmers, and different consumers. And so, for different markets and prices. The plantation and the roundel are examples to serve as inspiration for socially responsible egg production. A poultry farming system, even a hen could learn to love.